HR diagram. First, on your graph, you're going to need an X and a Y axis. So I have them here, X and a Y. Next, you're going to need some units on your graph. So for an HR diagram, the units are luminosity in solar luminosity and temperature in Kelvin. So for my graph, on the bottom temperature, every space in the graph is 1,000 extra Kelvin. So if this was 8,000 Kelvin, this would be 10,000 Kelvin, 20,000 Kelvin, and so forth. On the y-axis, it's logarithmic, which means every three spaces, I actually have it going up by 10 times. So this is one solar luminosity, 10 solar luminosities, 100 solar luminosities, 1,000 solar luminosities, and as you go down, it drops by 10 for each mount. So that's one solar luminosity, that's 0.1 solar luminosity, 0.01, 0.001, 0 .001 you might also see that expresses scientific notation as well. So this would be 10 to the negative 1, 10 to the negative 2, and 10 to the negative 3. You wouldn't write that in your graph, though. You'd pick one or the other. Next, after you've got your x and y axis, you're going to need a title HR diagram. And lastly, for your graph, you're going to need to plot and label some stars. So let's pick star temperature and luminosity and plot it in. I'm going to pick a red dwarf or maybe an orange dwarf. Let's pick that. So I'm going to pick it as 0.1 solar luminosity, and maybe it's about 4,500 Kelvin. So I go up to 4,500. I bring 0.1 solar luminosity over, and then I plot my little orange dwarf. Let's say you had a larger blue star that you had to plot in there. Well, usually larger blue stars are higher in luminosity. So let's say this has a this blue star has a temperature of 20,000 Kelvin and it's 100 times brighter than the sun. So I go up from 20,000 Kelvin, 100 times brighter than the sun. And since blue stars tend to be bigger, notice that I'm drawing it bigger than my orange star over here. And maybe this is Polaris. It's not, but maybe that's it. And I write the name in. And then maybe this one is Proxima B. It's not, but you get the idea, and you just write the name.